All right, back at this. So let's see here. Uh, mummy, and then live oak. For live oaks, Kaylee on auto and use exit since arrow arrow doesn't work too well on them. I accidentally put her on auto. Nice. It's a good start. shame. You won't be able to make the, uh, the streams quite as much. Okay. Think I want to only have a two fight here, or it might not really matter anymore. And we seem to be getting the same encounter, so let's find out by running one more time. Yes. Okay. Fight this boy and then do the grapple, the grapple dance. Okay, floor two. Southwest here, grapple over the gap, fight the living oak and the snip snippian. Uh, same strategy as the bottom. Right, so keep going until we...
So I think at this point, the, the guide won't mention when to use them, but I think I just use seeds from now on if needed. Okay. The leech is on the left, which you can apparently just arrow auto with Kaylee. <sighs> Unless I get nuked. Oh boy, okay. Just barely. <laughs> Down, right, fight the three leech, three leech battles on the way. Oops, she wasn't supposed to be on auto. That's a bit of a waste. Maybe I can still finagle this, it's fine, let's find out. Or Kaylee will heal herself. Alright. A little rocky, but... <laughs> we're figuring out what we gotta do. We're learning. Okay, so this is a situation where you yeah, single target and spell. Or er, auto, single target. There we go. Those are the words that I meant to use. Just a second, I need to check something. Alright, so that's an interesting note. I need to super keep Benji topped off in this dungeon. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Is this right? Starting in this room, which is can start having ooze is pretty annoying since you left magic. Alright, you'll have to fight three le leech battles. There's an ooze. Kaelian auto and use the Dragon Claw. <sighs> I mean, that was a crit, but the real reason you use the Dragon Claw is because it has a chance to uh, one shot. Alright, 
So it's through the three. All right, so then we go through the mushrooms. Like this leech. I'm already not following my own advice, not keeping Benji topped off. It was like the first step. You fall down here. Fight through these boys? Yes. Exit to the south. This looks like a SNES game. Weird that Kaylee doesn't actually use much of her magic in this dungeon. Only at the beginning with the uh Are those unlimited? Oh my. I was not aware that the glitch makes those unlimited. Okay. So. Uh, let me scroll this up a little bit. Okay, follow the path. Fight the mad toad that is blocking the vine. For mad toads, you want to use exit and manually attack. Sometimes she uses arrow and all, just not have a great effect. Okay. Wait. Do we want to fall down? Yes. So it was these parts <laughs> when I'm learning this of like whoop, that should just be should just be on auto. Uh where I have to pause because I have to think really hard and do some reading. Uh but then like once I'm at the point where I know what I'm doing, I just keep moving. Which is why this should be a pretty interesting, you know, run once I actually have everything down and good. Damn it, this. And actually can remember to do everything right. And Kaylee doesn't miss. Oh boy. So 
So I think toads are way more dangerous, is what I'm learning. Have I finished a run before? No. Uh, last week was the first time I started taking a look at this. And uh, got through to the, the glitch and learned I had fucked it up. So had to rerun the, the early parts of the game again. Um, and then got to here and then decided to call it a night. Uh, I intend to finish the game tonight and then next week to do my first uh, proper all the way run. Um, I don't know if it is because of leeches. Okay. Here. And left. So, oozes. Two oozes. Use bomb auto. Since we're weak against bombs and Cali will. Yeah, Kaylee will attack when she's on auto. And that's it. Apparently you don't fight three three ooze. Kaylee doesn't kill though. I'll take the, the the guide's word for it. The other thing you gotta memorize is this guide for this learning purposes. It's a little bit more tedious to do it, so I haven't been. But um, wait, did I do this wrong? Slope leeches. I feel like there's a step missed skipped here with this skeleton. is the most, uh, the dungeon feels like more than any of the other ones before it, uh, with a constant sort of switching your partner in and out of auto. Okay, this one I'm actually looking up. Um, okay, here we go.
Okay. Yeah, for some reason they put white in their description for stuff, but you, we skipped white. We, we can't have white. Okay. That, that was just a mistype on their part. It's arrow, arrow. Uh, am I supposed to enter that first door? Um... I'm lost and confused. Hold up. Yeah, ignore the first mouth and go in the second. Okay. So you can skip that ooze fight. Oh, hello. He has his home, make sure. Okay. Okay, very good. What? I have to read that at some point. I don't understand why she's like resisting drain. Makes almost no sense to me. Maybe I, maybe I broke something in the game. Yeah, those slimes seem like the most annoying enemy. Because they, uh... They have that, uh... They, they apparently just have auto-reflect on them. Here, follow the only way you go by fighting Leech Ooze Scaldier and Leech Ooze. Ah, oh, damn it. And that's why you have to make sure your health is topped off. This should work. 
As long as Benji doesn't die in. I just had to make sure I was doing that right. Actually, no, 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 because then the earth, yeah, yeah, I was right. I was in the right. Aside from enemy execution, it does, this, this run does actually require you to, like, realize things about how the AI works. So, for instance, like this, you do auto battle and all that crap, unless she misses. But, so, I'm not going to heal myself. You heal yourself outside of battle. Uh, but it would be risky to keep her on auto because if Benji gets hit again, but not killed, just knocked really low, then she would auto uh, kill Benji. So you have to be aware of that. Notice these things. Forget to heal your character. Pissed. Hold up. <sighs> Can't even take a drink. Okay. Time for the risky move. The proper thing to do here would be to, uh, Use like exit on one of those. Because then that happens. how that plays out. Okay. Okay, for the first turn, put the Knight Sword on Benjamin. Probably because it makes him attack faster. So this is actually auto-controlling Kaylee a, a bunch, uh, because she apparently uh, will default to using her axe on this boss. Mm. 
Speedrunning Mystic Quest, or how I learned that Exit is actually a really good spell. That's it, this boss is just casting arrow a bunch. I think he's just about dead, actually. That should be it. Yep. Go on, kid. Goon kid. Right. Fucking, I forgot about this glitch. I was confused for a second. And then it was like, right, I fucked up the game. I fucked up the game real bad. Okay. What's the proper way to get out of here? Uh, fall down the right pit. Go into the door. Claw down, let go. Fall into the next pit. And go get player. The smart way of doing it. AKA, not the way I did it on the legit playthrough. Oh, it's Meteor, not Flare. Flare's later. on the way out? Hold up. Be here. Use a- um. God, I'm stupid. <laughs> Move down. Right. Right. Up. Oh shit, I was actually curious about this for a while now. Um, second house, second host, northwest, <laughs> not house, host. Did I get anything good from the dungeon update? 
Oh, I got v Vaughn's BSB, which is like, yeah, it's all right. I got grenades. Um. This time into the house on the left and talk to. Yeah, okay. Enter the house on the left. Previously, they gave me the direction of northwest. God, I hate guides that do that. Nice. The Zach chain is extremely good, as you probably know. Alright. Buy the locket. Because. The locket goes from nothing to all of that resistance. Yeah, that's gonna be real good. <laughs> God, I love stupid speedrun strats. Okay, watch this shit. So you know what? All right, there's God. There's two games with chocobos on them. But yes, all right. Let's go talk to this boy. And then, you gotta get out of here fast. Right. Up. Okay. Oh, hello. Entrance move up the stairs to the north and small stairs past that. Then right on the bridge. Bridge? Bridge? Hold up. <laughs> the entrance move up the stairs to the north and. Oh, the small. St okay, those small stairs. Okay. These small stairs. Alright, then jump across the bridge. Alright, so we are across the bridge. Um, I'll fight a skull boy at the top of the next stairs. So you know how to fight them. Oh. Well, that's handy. Also, I'm still messed up from that boss fight. Should have healed. Since uh, Babis really is in a hard fight, they engage the Water Hog. <sighs> this is a Final Fantasy with Zelda ish attributes. You could put it that way. It's more uh, uh, a Final Fantasy that the Japanese tried to make a bit more action-based to appeal to Western audiences.
Well. <laughs> You've never seen it before. Well, you'll be seeing maybe a few messed up things in this. Because I'm, I am practicing for a speed run. Um... Move down the stairs that they block, and the next one. Move right, and then go up the stairs and fight a skull boy. It was weird, as a kid I always thought that the little slash that appears on the shield when you kill these guys is like from their sword because the sword breaks too. Which really wouldn't make too much sense if you stop and actually think about it. Okay. Um, jump over the gap and fight the vampires here. Nope, don't want to do that. for Benji? It does. Nice. 16. Alright. I'm on par. Fucking piss. That was an extreme accident. Well, now I'll be over leveled. That's fine, it's practice. Now I'm seeing if I know how to run through this. It was mainly, um... Yeah, okay, I only have four uses of Meteor. Alright. That's what I was confused with. I. That was just weird. That I only have four. Alright, so I think I'm going to be one level then over the expected because of that little mishap. Let's just fast forward a little bit to get there, get back to where we were. Oh god, this song sounds terrible, sped up. Um... Our spell tree is consumables. Yeah, you have like spell slots almost, like like a D and D ish. So like you can only use white magic so many times before you have to refresh.
Okay. So like, see, I'm, I'm using up all my white uses there. And then I use the seed, and I get them back. Uh, normally, seeds are extremely rare slash expensive uh, over the course of the game. I, I broke the game. So that should kill the vampire. And then apparently you just go to town? I really wish my internet connection would stop crapping out. This is a beefy boy. I really don't have a way to do like double damage. Bad, bad habits. Yeah. Mm, Could have just done AOE there, Kaylee. Guess AI knows best. So Death Dance is apparently the one thing that could really fuck you up during this. Because obviously just losing one of your characters is very bad. up with this. Alright, um... Head back to window. Wait, this is, uh, it's Mount Gale, so I was right the last time. Is I dropped like 800 frames already? That's way too many frames! I can just exit out of towns now. Okay. Do we actually have to send Norma back? Okay, I do. God, this is gonna take forever because there's no way to actually speed up the tower, is there? Beholders leave Kaylee on auto. And switch to bombs.
Okay, hold up. See. some of the, uh, the stuff down here at the end real fast on uh, enemy formations uh, okay here we go leave Kaylee on an attack of bombs if Kaylee gets blinded on the first turn don't worry about it on oh, no, she'll carry itself you can finish off the holders with sword dragon fault yeah okay. uh, Gruta Gruta arrow single uh, Gruta Gruta beholder start out with arrow single either attack I think that's instant death. Mainly this tower is going to be a pain in the butt because the tower always is a pain in the butt. Even if I'm doing tower fast. Okay, let's see. What happens once we get through? After this hallway, you reach the third floor. And you will see Pazuzu waiting for you. This is your first time, yada yada yada. Talk to you and he'll play randomly to someplace else. Now I'll continue left and fight the beholder that is blocking your way. Excuse me. Shalom. Okay. Bombs. 
Okay. Now, we, uh... Wait, the Mantic Core. Unless no enemies in the game. Can't kill with arrow, even with single target. You will have to use exit with Benjamin, cast life on these with Kaylee. Alright. Ah, piss. Yeah, just, just kill me, actually. Just fuck me up. Perfect. Alright. Round two. Zuzu on the next floor. I mean, I'm listening to the guide, but in my head I'm like, I hope I don't need those heal potions for something, because I did before. But, you know, that's what the guide says to do, just auto. Everything will work itself out. Come across for another hallway. This time with three manticores in it. I can remember to hit start instead of the other button that does that. Speed my life up a bit. I think it's just exit single target arrow. Alright, apparently, yeah, it would take way too long to get to so you just keep going. Alright, time to look at some uh, some strats. What do we do with three manticores? Exit and life. And of course, as, as the, the wording of the guide, 
<laughs> Pray that you don't die, which is a very uh, reassuring thing to hear a guide say. Baby, hold the bells. Hold up. I may have lost my place. Here we go. Three man corpse. Strong start. Yeah, okay, so that always requires uh, manual targeting. It's a good thing to know. And I'll keep doing it. Again and again and again, just going through the wrong menus. <laughs> You know, I probably don't need to move over one. You know, we're talking about optimizing and making this go faster. And I'll keep doing it. Wrong. It's a joke. That pissed. Why don't you just still be able to finish this? Nice. That's called a good recovery. Alright, uh, at the top of the tower, uh, fight the Chimera on the left. This time, it will come with a sorcerer. You can kill the sorcerers by single target arrow, Kaylee, or using life on them. It's your choice. Personally, I would cast arrow since life can miss. Okay. Then, fight Thanatos. Says here, two ways to go about Thanatos. Let me find this. Kill the sorcerers with similar targeting, uh, use life, it's your choice, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Thanatos. Use exit on Thanatos and life on the Manticore. Afterwards, kill the holder. Alternatively, you can cast an exit on the Manticore and single target arrow on Thanatos. It's your call. Personally, I like to cast exit on the Manticore and arrow on Thanatos because life can miss. That's good enough of a reason for me.
Nice. Okay. Continue to the right. Go south. Move on. Oops, I may have entered this this fight in a stupid way. Uh oh. Big money, no whammies. Show me the dollar. Piss. We call that hubris. God, this entry on the on the tower is so long. Still got off the tower like way faster than we did the first time. Oh, crap. Piss. She was supposed to be on auto to auto heal herself. Well. And fixed. <laughs> be better if she did it herself. So I think the reason that you would do life on the Sphinx first and not exit is because... Well, excuse me. Oh, yawn came out of nowhere. Uh, Sphinxes are nasty. They're just real rude. I think this is where I want to go. Let me see. You're on the sixth floor. Fight the Naga. The sorcerer on the left. Now those are also weak to arrow. We need to use single target. So use exit arrow. Open the chest. Cool. Oh, I'm stupid. I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, let me, uh, let me hustle back down. down. That's just a bonus ex EXP, you know? That's EXP for me. Okay. Uh, fight through the Naya and the Sorcerer, and get Flare. With the Flare spell, you can kill any two enemies that are left. Yeah. The 
fire spell, you can kill two any, any two enemies that are left in battle in the tower, except Chimera, since they are strong against fire. So from now on, against two enemies, use Flare and defend Benjamin with KOA. Against three enemies, single target arrow and use Flare to kill the rest. What about with the the bomb boys? Don't they? Yeah, I think they do something different. The, the next fight, I'm going to uh, scroll down this guide a little bit. Well, I mean, we'll find out right here. Because again, I'm going to follow this guy to a T. Yeah, that's what I figured. Alright, after you get Flare. Alright, so these boys are the same. Yeah, the sprites in this game are really good. One of the main reasons I super like it. Wait. Oh. I get confused by something in here. Come on. Scroll, thank you. Okay. Wow, there's still a lot to this dungeon. <laughs> no, Pazuzu's there. Alright, hold up. Wait, hold up. I think I might have just RNG'd into the, the best thing, and I'm just gonna do this, and we'll find out in a moment. That sound effect's still broken. God, that just means I'm gonna need to have this guide around for when I do the actual run for whenever Pazuzu gets fucked up. Yup! I RNG'd into the best result for Pazuzu. Okay. So, here's what you need to do, just for future reference. Um which I can read to this good music. For all the people that understand this... Okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 talking about the second floor. This is what happens if he's on the second floor and you push the switch. This is really annoying. First of all, go back to the fourth floor and make sure you press the switch there since you want to lock him between the second and third floor. After pressing the switch, fight the Thanatos there, avoid the Nine in the back, move down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight all three battles, and after all that trouble, you reach Pazuzu and he escapes. Yep, he goes to the third floor. Your best bet is to take the staircase on the floor one, grapple over to the third floor, once you reach him, you find him. For all the people that don't understand this, I do not blame you. This is rather difficult to explain and a pain to navigate through, even for an experienced player like me, the, the guide person talking here. I'm going to try and summarize the little table below with what you have to do in order for Pazuzu, mattering on what floor he ends up on. After you first talk to him, he's on the first floor, go to the second floor, press the switch there, exit, re-enter, fight him on the first floor. If he's on the second floor, press the switches on the second and third floor, talk to him on the second floor, he'll end up on the third where you finally fight him. Floor 4. 
Press the switches on the 4th and 6th floor. Talk to him on the 4th, he'll end up on the 5th and you can fight him. On the 5th floor, press the switches on 4 and 6, go to the 5th floor where you can finally fight him. And 6th floor, press the switch on the 6th floor and fight him, which we just saw. Yes, I RNG into the best possible fucking outcome. That's fantastic. Okay. Um, now for actually fighting Pazuzu. Uh, start out with Flare, and McCauley equipped, Arrow with Kaylee. This guy is the, has the second most HP in the game, so this will take quite a while. After four turns, he will start using Psych Shield, which lets him reflux spells back at you. So use this to heal up and use a seed on Benji. Watch out though, since Kaylee was sometimes sometimes faster than Pazuzu, and she will get to act before he releases. So I show the second turn, so don't blindly cast arrow there. Be safe and heal attack with the axe. So the ability of stone beak, yada yada yada. Keep your HP high. After he uses it the first time, he uses it every three turns. Nice. That's Pazuzu, baby. Oh, I haven't been using the, the claw, which is what I'm supposed to be having equipped. Uh, for those who haven't caught the, the previous instance of me uh, running this, the claw gives you a slight boost to magic, so that's why you won't have the claw equipped. Alright, so now he uses this every three turns. Also, I guess in this route, you never pick up the, uh... The Excalibur.
you know, in hindsight, he deals about he can deal like five k dam or five hundred damage to Benji. So, not my best interest to not go all out with keeping everybody's health up. <laughs> I'd love to see perfect execution of this boss. I feel like I'm doing everything in my power to just not die. Mad yet? When are you gonna get mad, Pazuzu? There he is. Now he mad. Pazuzu yelling, How dare you? Here in my own home. is worth it? Maybe the, the Night Sword. Let's see if the Night Sword does more damage. I think I should start preempting that. I never... I always assume that stuff. And Benji's slow. Benji always goes second. Almighty. Huh. <laughs> Apparently, you actually want Kaylee to use up those heal potions. That's really funny. pick up the coin because that would cause a problem since we already have one as you can see right there <laughs> due to the move okay now enter Windia walk to the inn by Zero cure potions from the lady on the right. My inventory. Yes. Good. That is correct. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't use them. Now go talk to Otto so Ruben will rejoin the party. Ruben, who was never actually in the party. Welcome to the party, Ruben, for the first time. Okay. Um, now that Ruben is in the party... Go to your inventory and use the zero po portions in your fourth slot. Fantastic. What a great game. 
What a good, well-designed game. Alright, no, we did it. We went, we got the Thunder Rock. Here it is. Oh, wait. Speed run. Goodbye. Wait, what is that chest? Hold up. <laughs> oh, right, we need, yes, okay. We need to go back and talk to Kaylee so we get the captain's cap. Otherwise, if we don't have the captain's cap, we can't actually finish the portion of the game where we go get back. Exit, re-enter, go north past the inn. To this old person's basement. And we're at the dock. And boat. Okay. Okay, move left and fight the Chimera. We want two Chimeras. This is the worst spot possible outcome. And that's even double worse. I should exit the Chimera. Okay, I got it. I think you exit works on Chimera? Find out in a moment. I need to know for data. I hate this. As, as I eject myself in anger. Alright. You like the Thanatos? Alright, so this is the best possible outcome. The flare defend. And we snake all the way around.
So, we play the next Santa, let's go up the stairs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lucky, lucky. Keep getting all the good combinations. Okay, gargoyles. Use Flare of Benjamin and White with Ruben. Follow the. Alright. The only reason Ruben knows White. That's the last fight that we actually have to do on the boat. Get your upgraded armor. Talk to Mac. Get shows by Kaylee. Ruben's dying. I love this. This. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oops. I wasn't supposed to hit up. This is the fact that, like, the number of times in Windia that you just fucking book it. Okay. If he be staying the end, probably get refreshed for some reason. Oh, because you, then you talk to Mac. The shortcut. Everybody's favorite move. Exit out of Windia. Then we head back to Max Ship and we go to Chaos. Chaos Castle. Doom Castle. The final castle. Okay. Oh, piss. Okay. Entrance, like some shadows in the way. Alright, this is a little confusing how it's saying to fight the ninja, so I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and peep the uh the explanation here. Okay. Doom Castle. Shadow Shadow, you equip Dragon Claw and Flare White. Shadow Shadow Shadow. Equip Dragon Claw use flare and single target thunder with Phoebe. Interesting. Alright. 
No, I guess that's why. Alright, scrolling back up. Is this where I want to be? Nope. This. Wow. This guide is so short, sometimes I just zoom real far past where I'm supposed to be. Okay, here we go. Apparently, if you're uh, 21, you don't need the claw. Which is like, how are you 21 at this point? I redid a whole dungeon. Um, okay. Moving north into these sea stairs that go into the quicksand. I mean, I do. Hold right, apparently. Yep, alright. This is optional, apparently. Like, you don't actually need to do this. Uh, the thing is, this gives you uh, super good protection. Um, you can petrify, which is the worst aspect, obviously. Um, nice! The current year. Uh, so entirely worth going out of your way for this, in my opinion. It'll probably save you time later on to keep Benji from getting pet petrified. Okay. Ignore the first two flight of stairs if you're not getting that. Alright, this is just hit the third place stairs and then do the dungeon. Or not. Nah. Hold up. Hey, that's a cool skip right there. I'm gonna be real interested. Cool for me, obviously, not like actually cool. That's cool! Yeah, you just skip half this stuff. Alright, uh, use exit on Rex. Exit! Actually the strongest spell in the game. disagree. Yeah, see? That's why you get the Petrify Resist. Right there. Already paying dividends. Okay. So. Uh. Go up a couple floors until we get to the Ice Pyramid. Apparently, every fight in the next section is leave Phoebe on auto and cast Flare with Benji. Okay. <sighs> Kill the shadow on the left. I'm going to read ahead. Uh, kill the shadow on the left. Go through the door after hitting it. From left, hit the next switch and open the fight with a flask win. Hit the switch that they're guarding from here. Move right this time, jump over the... Uh, go left, and then you hit another switch. Ooh. 
Normally this wouldn't be like a viable strategy. Hey, okay, hold up. I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> oh, that you can do that. Um. Right time to yeah. Left and hit yet another switch. Go right and up, ignoring the fun squid for now and follow the rightmost path to another switch. Cause major brought major rounds opening up that chest. Any chest at this point is like mm, that could kill me. Uh, where were we? I was going to follow the right. I'm switching. Oh god, I'm completely lost now. Fight the freezer crab and hit that switch. Uh oh, I might be out of. Okay, I got one player left. But now I gotta seat up. Okay, now what? Did you go over? No, I can't. It's just just too short. Um, hit it most of the time. This is the fight after which you have to use seeds on your party members as a refresh. Good. Uh, go back and grapple. Over. Go back. Grapple over damn. What? Phrasing. Oh, I see. Okay, so. The, the fast way is you go over and you whoop like that. Okay. Go up. Up. Jump. This that we hit earlier is open. That might be like a shortcut later. Oh, this is just everything falling into place. Okay. going. Yeah, follow the path, hit the switches, fight the crab, uh, grapple over, and then it's boss time. Alright, how do we do stone golem? Another fight where you just use exit on the boss. If you be on auto, she'll fire the Cerberus and you exit the golem, and we're done. Exit is the strongest spell in the game. Second strongest. We all know what the real the real strongest spell is. That's right, baby, it's cure. Woof. Okay. Does that give me a full heal? I think it does. That's that's good. That's cool. Another one down. All right, lava dome. Excuse me. Um, take the right path, jump over the platforms, and then turn left when you see the Seth though.
Luckily, I think Petrify Cures at the end of fights. Finally! I'm strong. This one. Grapple over left jump if I if it can flare white. Stop it. You've heard this one before. Uh, follow the path down. You see Cerberus. You can either fight it now or later when you want to get out of the area. It's your choice. Either way, go to the right end of the path and grapple over. Fight Setho in the way. I mean, it's not too... Actually... Go too far out of the way, so... Hmm, rude. Oh, wait. Right. I was the smart boy. Oh, no. Good thing Flare just kills them. Flare is, how you say, a good spell. the Setho. He owns Seed. Get ready for the boss. Okay. What's the strategy here? Use Flare and White the first turn. Don't really have much of a choice here, just use white and arrow. Make sure to play it safe. Defend and heal when you fall into 700s with you. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't be a hard fight. way more health. Okay. I just looked over at the HP total. I was wrong. Walk out because we killed the dog in advance. Alright. So, yeah, a lot of this dungeon just seems to be flyer white, which is good because I was afraid it was going to be complex. Speaking of complex, the next set, maybe a little bit. Okay. Fair warning, you can fall down to the last part, so be careful. At first intersection, go right, down at the next, 
and fight that Cerberus. Flare white unless there's a Cerberus, then you need to Meteor white. Well, luckily. I mean, nah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna try and justify some reason to not get the shield and like, no, sorry nerds, Petrify's actually really good. This isn't right. Hold up. Continue to the left until you have to fight Thanatos. Wait, hold up. Okay, hold up. Oops, this is what it meant. That's why I mentioned a chimera. I'm experimenting on this one. I should have used Meteor, but I just want to say, if there's three tar two targets, if it's enough. Nice, okay, so it's only if there's two chimeras, because she can kill the, uh, the crab in one of those hits. Hereabouts. Put Thanatos into the door and fight the Cerberus. Scratching my head was not paying attention entirely. Oh my god. Oh, kill me now. <laughs> Can't this whole floor just be on the second level where I don't have to worry about doing that? Okay, fight the Cerberus. Player White. Right, again, normally. You wouldn't be able to do stuff like this because you, you, you in chests you get about um, like a handful of seeds over the course of the whole game. Not you know 99. 
Uh, fight the Cerberus. Fight the Chimera. Only one Chimera, so I don't need to use Meteor. And then Thanatos. Exit Blast all the way. Fight the Chimera. Go right before the Thanatos. Don't fight him. You go to the next intersection. Okay, so. That, then Thanatos. Also, like, we resist all of the really rude status effects now. So, there's that. Hmm, except that happened. Yeah, that's rude. Also, I have a very powerful spellcaster on my side. Alright, so in this situation... I need to hit Meteor in white. Is this gonna work? Hmm, I guess so. Go up. Like that. And fight the Chimera. Oh, let me see. Oh, bless me. It's three targets and a Chimera, so if I were to use Flare, it wouldn't have worked. At least that is my understanding. Doesn't matter anyway, because the fucking Chimera got healed. Benji's gonna die. <sighs> Joke's on you, fucker. Off-color Pazuzu. Alright, turn one. Arrow on the Chimera. Thunder on the Thanatos. And denied to Doom Dance. Almost a double. Doesn't really matter too much because uh, we don't have life. And there you go. Yeah, this is apparently a run ender. Jesus Christ. you not
Yeah, how about that? Okay. Okay, so flare. Flare and heal, okay. Yeah, that's just a really rude start. No reason for a boss to be that rude. Yeah, there's no, like, in-between on, uh... Mystic Quest. It's very weird. You're either... You get hit by a thing or you don't. There's no, like... Maybe, maybe it'll miss. Okay. Heal turn. Seed on self. Cure on party. Oh, it's a bad heal turn. Two heal turns, how about? Apparently Zoo here is fast enough. Are you kidding me? So I thought that the only thing that still like messes you up at this point in the game is instant death. And just playing poorly. That's it. Hoof. Ah. Hoofa. Hoofa, if you will. Hoofa doofa. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Insta kill two party members is maybe a bit much. Maybe it's a bit much, Mr. Quest. And they say you're an easy game. Huh, I've never actually seen him transition. Not with wings. I say that, but I've probably seen it in this run alone. I've explained this uh, on the the actual like for real run, uh, but to talk about it again real fast. Um, manually casting life with your ally is actually the best way to heal because um, the game remembers the order that you do commands in. Just like so, for example. Um, if Benji were to get knocked down and I cast life on him, then he would get back up and then immediately do whatever command he was going to do. Oh, Christ almighty. That was the worst. Okay. Alright, move back to where the Cerberus was.
Okay. So the back of the way Cerberus was, move straight down from here. Death doesn't cost a turn as long as you didn't go before you get revived. It's a weird way of thinking about it, but like, alright. So the standard turn order is boss, ally character, Benjamin, um, let me, let me just finish thinking this through and explaining this little mechanic real fast. Uh, so the the normal order is boss ally Benjamin, right? And you do a command with Benjamin, heal Benjamin with life, and then the boss kills Benjamin. The ally will heal Benjamin, bring him back up, and then Benjamin will take his turn. But if you use life on your ally and they die, they would get up, but their turn has passed. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Now for... The good shit. Okay. Um... Explanation here. Uh, apparently a completely different pattern depending on what level you come into this fight at. We're at 22. Defend Benji. Cure the boss with Benji. Cure the boss with Phoebe. Defend Benji. Hmm. Why did that work? I see what I did wrong. Alright, let's start this over. Oh no, I can't be petrified. So. Here's what I did wrong. I was supposed to have the axe equipped. Uh, having the claw equipped, um, messed things up. Okay. So, cure, defend. That's bad. Cure. Cure. Yeah, okay, those are, those are the right numbers.
And now this time should kill. Unless I miss! There's the whammy. Okay! Got all of that overflow damage. <laughs> That's it! That's time. If I was actually running. If I was actually running, my time would be about two, four hours right now, which is double what the, uh, the world record is. Yeah, um, interesting thing. If you, uh, if you hit level 24, you can do that by healing the boss twice with the claw on, and then, uh, casting flare. It, there's actually a different pattern if you somehow hit level 24. I don't know how you would do that. Well, yeah. Some good shit. Next week I'll start actually doing a run with like splits and what have you. Trying to get like a full run going. I'll probably still have this open because again there's shit like uh, Pazuzu Tower that uh, has so many different ways you can go down and we got the perfect way. It, uh, close. It's, uh, overflow, heal, and then overflow twice. Um, but because of the way that the overflow is working, or whatever, um, if you have the claw on, and obviously we saw, we overflow for less... Yeah, I still don't understand how, because he has 40,000 HP, and we definitely did more than that. Either way, yeah, that's it for learning, because again, we, we, we did it. We got there. I learned the, the cool tricks. I learned... It, it's really a lot of precise execution. Like, extremely precise execution. Uh, up until you do the first move. And then it's a lot more of... Uh, spells and what have you. In that sort of execution. Um, for the rest of it. And then you get Flare and the, the entire thing is just this and flare for the rest of the game which is funny enough but yeah next time speedrun <laughs>